History has been made once again in Tokyo, with Hong Kong's superstar swimmer Siobhan Horhey clinching silver in the women's 200m freestyle. For more, let's head to Tokyo. Johnny, it's been another amazing day in Tokyo. Siobhan Horhey is coming home with a silver medal. Yeah, an amazing day. Uh, apologies for wearing my mask. I'm inside the badminton right now, waiting for another Hong Konger to play. Um, but yeah, it was fantastic this morning. Um, an incredible swim from her. Uh, she was right at it from the off. Um, and yeah, she, she touched home there, um, just behind Ariane Titmus of Australia, the country's new golden girl. Um, she uh, finished in an Olympic record, and that's what it took to beat Siobhan today. And it, it was many firsts for her. I understand it was a almost a it was a one second PB, uh, Asian record, Hong Kong record. You know, it sounds like she's in some of the best form of her life. Yeah, I think we all knew that going into this that she was in the form of her life um, since she burst onto the scene, which seems like a long time ago. But Rio 2016 was her first Olympics. Uh, she's 23 now. I'm sure some people will say she burst onto the scene at five at the. Uh, South China Athletic Association. But when she's been an elite swimmer, international standard, um, she's improved a lot since 2016. There was uh, a fifth at Worlds in 2017. There was a fourth at Worlds in 2019. She's been the star of the show for Energy Standard in the uh, International Swimming League over the course of the last season, since she moved there from her team in the first season, the DC Trident. Um, so we knew what she was, she was at when she came here. Um, but every single swim, has proved that this has been time to, you know, perfection. Uh, the first swim, she was second in a heat, but she cruised through to the semis. The semis, she was second overall behind Titmus again, um, and she cruised through into the final. The final, she went off. Um, you know, she she jumped off. Alexiak, who finished bronze in the end, um, she was leading initially, and then the, the Chinese girl, and then Siobhan, and Siobhan just powered away. And by the time that... You know, she was at 100, 150. Um, she was under world record pace. And then she flagged a little bit. Um, you know, she, she didn't finish as powerfully as Titmus, which was exactly the same as happened in their heat. Sorry, their semi-final. Um, but yeah, PB, Asian record, Hong Kong record. She had the swim of her life on the biggest stage of her life. And she got a silver medal. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. That's amazing, and you can't ask for any anything else. It, everyone in Hong Kong was holding their breath and are so proud of her. Uh, what was it? How was she when she exited the pool? Obviously, so so happy. You know, has she said anything to media at this point? Um, she spoke to the Cantonese TV. Um, we've got three broadcasters over in Hong in over in Tokyo here, and they all got hold of her. Uh, Ga Yao was uh, the thing that everyone uh, picked up on but she spoke to the olympics uh, on the way out and said you know she was delighted to have done a silver medal she feels like she's been getting towards a podium mm -hmm. um and finally you know she's done it on the biggest stage of her career i think there's a lot more to come from siobhan i think there's you know that's in the sense of what she's going to do in the pool uh, next time she gets in for a 200 she's got more swims to come here mm -hmm. um but there's more to come from her on uh, on how she feels about this she did do a press conference after the medal ceremony um, we're still waiting to hear exactly what she said in that. Um, but yeah, fantastic. What, what a day. What a the day. gold and the silver. Yeah, you know, it is now officially Hong Kong's most successful Olympic campaign. What does this mean for Hong Kong now? Are we, are we a sporting city? Um, let's hope so. You know, there's a lot of people who uh, bemoan Hong Kong sport, but here's something for people to really get behind, to be proud of. Um, fencing, swimming, I'm sure they'll get a boost. Mm. Uh, badminton, today with the mixed doubles, we're only one win away from a medal shot. So what you're saying is we have to pay attention this week. Hong Kong could win another medal. Sadly for Tang Che, they have to play the number one seeds from China, um, the world's best mixed doubles pairing. But they seemed in uh, high spirits after getting past the British pair today. Um, they were asked by uh, some foreign media, you know, can you get a medal? And they said, we'll try our best. Um, they're a little bit more uh, forthcoming to us. Um, but basically, they said they're going to go out there and battle for every single point with China. They've nothing to lose now. Um, win or lose, they're going to be in another medal match. 
So hopefully it's going to be for gold, not for bronze. But again, we'll need a big day from them tomorrow. It's, it's amazing either way, and I'm sure everyone in Hong Kong will be watching along and cheering along. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today and speak to you again tomorrow. Thank you.